Dear associate members, just these few words on French so to warn you that you will hear a speech with an awful French-English accent. Sorry for that. <laughs> what about the fuel cycle? Fuel cycle, um, you, you start with the uranium ore, and you have first to transform the uranium ore, which is into U308, which is the so-called yellow cake, and then take this yellow cake into a gas, which is UF6, which is, uh, and you have to go through a gaseous phase because that's the only way you, ha you can enrich uranium, uh, either by diffusion uh, process or by uh, ultra centrifugation. It is clear uh, that uh, you have to enrich uranium because uh, uh, only for uh, specific reactors, the fission chain can only be achieved with enriched uranium. Two points about these activities. Transportation is a key problem, it's a key point. It has to be secure, safe, and it has to be worldwide uh, adequate. You have to transport uranium, uranium ore, UF6, uh, around uh, between your different fabrication facility, and transportation is a key, it's a key point. And enrichment tails, when you enrich uranium, on one hand you have enriched uranium, but on the other hand you get depleted uranium in a ratio of one to seven. So by producing enriched uranium, you produce also depleted uranium. And if one could tell you the good reactor to use this depleted uranium, suddenly where you have one energy, so, uh, uh, one quantity of energy source, you suddenly have seven, seven times more with depleted uranium. And I give you the answer right uh, up front. These reactors do exist. They are called the liquid metal fast reactors. 95% of the fuel, uh, of the spent fuel, is reusable material. Only 5% is fission product and, my, and to some extent minor, minor actinides. You have the numbers here. And so the question, the main question is how can we treat this spent fuel and recycle the, that material? There are two main ways. The first way is out of the, of the, sorry, I go back once. Out of the uranium and plutonium, you can first uh, fabricate MOX fuel, mixed oxide fuel, meaning uranium, plutonium, that's the reason why it is mixed, mixed, uranium, uh, mixed oxide fuel in existing PWRs. Or you can go for a more, a better way, but obviously, uh, a little bit uh, more expensive with liquid metal fast reactors that can produce at least as many fissile material from fertile U238 U and, and thus can produce at least 50 times more energy than in conventional reactors from the same amount of initial ore. First of all, I would like to emphasize that managing a nuclear industry and a reactor fleet should find a specific solution for each case, a case being a country or a, regional, a region uh, of the world. One should have a long-term vision. The uh, time quantum is 10 years. Nothing happens before 10 years in nuclear industry. Okay? Uh, and one should be flexible as far as possible to be able to find, uh, to, um, to, deal with an imprecise future. Why imprecise? Just because, for instance, nobody knows what will be the future of the Kyoto Protocol and the constraint on the CO2 production. Nobody knows what the CO2 sequestration program, whether it will fail or succeed and to which extent it will succeed. Availability and price of energy substitution as oil and gas. Uh, uranium resources, what will be the situation in 50 years from now. And when you, once you have built a reactor, this reactor is yours for 60 years. So flexibility is a key word. What is the potential energy or reactor market? Today, there are a little bit less than 400 gigawatt electric of reactor capacity, out of which about 300 will be shut down by 2030. But on the other hand, about 170 
will have a, a go through power upgrade or lifetime expansion, uh, extension, giving us a, a, a plus uh, in terms of electricity capacity. To go to the forecasted 470 uh, re uh, reactor needs by two, 2030, one come to a, a so-called market or potential market for reactor of about 200 units. What about waste and what, uh, where, what is the situation? The upper curve is, sorry, you have the time in a logarithmic uh, representation and you have the radiotoxicity of a given amount of neuro, uh, natural uranium, also in a logarithmic scale. If you go with a one through uh, fuel cycle, so to say, or no cycles, uh, then you come back, you produce, by producing energy, you produce fission products and minoactinides, and this decrease with the time, and you come back to the natural, initial natural uranium uh, radiotoxicity after about 300,000 years. This is the long-term span fuel disposal need, so to say. If you do uh, things the, with taking out the plutonium, tr treating the spent fuel, taking out the plutonium and recycling the plutonium, and thus putting in the waste approximately no plutonium, then you have the fat, fat gray, uh, green curve, which takes you back to the initial uh, uranium uh, radiotoxicity after 10,000 years. The nuclear renaissance is going into reality, and I have to say that Arriva is taking up the goblet to meet these challenges for the benefit of his existing and hopefully many future clients. <laughs> Thank you very much for your attention.